Hey everyone! Hi! If you're awake right now and you're on the group, um, give me a chat and say, Hey, I'm here! So I can see um, who's all joining me. Um, but James and I just got back from a trip to Chicago for a one-day training that Marcella von Harding put on. So I wanted to just give some tips about um, a couple of the things that we heard today in the seminars. It was a really long day. It was from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So we sat down for quite a bit. They had, let's see, one, two, five different speakers. Um, Marcella herself spoke quite a few times, which is great because she's at the top of our leg, all of our organizational leg, and she is super motivational. She's super straightforward. She's very... Um, cut and dry, down to earth person, so it's always great to hear her talking. So um, if you're joining me this evening, just give me a comment because I have some um, couple things to uh, play off of this when the video is over. But um, if you're watching this later, um, you'll kind of just go through this and I'd still love to hear your answers to some of the questions that I'll be asking. So one of the people that spoke today, his name was Ryan Daly and he's been involved in network marketing for quite a few years. He um, apparently was instrumental in helping Young Living set up their compensation plan structure, so he's very knowledgeable on like the ins and outs of um, how all the money should work, how the commissions should work, and um, he had some good um, practical tips uh, about how to build your system, and uh, so that's why I wrote um, Tips for Building a System of Success, and so I wrote quite a few notes for when he was talking. I thought it was a great topic to bring up today. And so I just wanted to share a few of the things I wrote down for from uh, his seminar. And hey, there's Krista. Hey, Krista. <laughs> um, so uh, he, one of the things that he said uh, that I thought was great was, you know, it's not just about our numbers as business builders. So some of us are trying to grow our organizations or increase our rank, side, our rank every month or uh, get a certain paycheck that we're looking forward to as part of being in network marketing. Um, but he was saying, you know, it's not about, it's not just about the numbers, it's about changing the behaviors that move the numbers. So um, it's kind of a simple concept, but how do we, if we're looking for more organizational group volume in our group, how do we get more people to order? How do we increase orders for the month? Um, if we're looking to um, uh, go up in a certain rank, you know, how do we get to that step? How do we encourage other people to become leaders under us and um, have, have them be kind of our leading legs that'll get us to our next rank? So, you know, it's not just about the numbers. It's such a relationship um, business and that's what's so important about it. And that's why it's, it can be intimidating getting into network marketing because you have to talk to people and you have to be um, go out of your comfort zone a lot to, uh, to learn about people, to listen to their needs and plug them into what's right for them. So that could be the products with Young Living, that could be the business, that could be both, um, which would be awesome. That's the ideal candidate. Um, but we really have to figure out um, how can we um, kind of pick the right people and how can we influence their behavior um, to help them uh, first and foremost and how will that affect our, our, our organization in the process. Um, and so uh, he talked a lot about duplication, leverage, and also repetition of tasks. And so we need to um, kind of uh, identify what works and um, and then do it. You know, it's not always about knowing what will work, but it's actually acting on that and getting the work done sometimes. And the problem is that a lot of times we'll, we'll do something for a while, it will have worked for us, but for some reason or another, maybe we think it's going too slow, or we're just not that excited about our results, even though we've had results, sometimes we just get bored and we stop doing what we know works. And so, um, we, he was saying, you know, Ryan Daly was saying, we need to embrace the boredom. So if you have a system in place already that you know works and has been successful for you already, um, get used to that and stick with it because it's, it's showing results for you. Now, if you're in a spot where you've been trying the same thing for a while and uh, you're just thinking, okay, this is obviously is not working, maybe that at that point it's time to kind of take a step back and pause and decide what you need to recalibrate and what direction you need to go instead um, to, to find something else that will work for you. 
Um, so he said, you know, success is not about being entertained by everything we do every day. Um, so a lot of us get into this business because it is a great option for us. It allows a lot of time freedom at, at, at a certain point. Um, usually when people first get in, you're working a lot. You're doing a lot of different things uh, to move the needle in a big way to get you launched off. But once you get to a certain point, you know you'll have that those freedoms that you're looking for, the financial freedom um, and the time freedom. But that's not going to come right away. That's not realistic. <laughs> hey. Um, so we can't just be discouraged um, that, you know, having to get out there and put our boots to the ground um, is, is not entertaining to us because a lot of times leaders have to do things um, that aren't that fun, that, that might seem monotonous or repetitious, but they work, um, such as inviting people to classes and hosting um, in-home in -home parties where you explain the starter kit. Maybe that's not your forte. Maybe that's not um, the easiest thing for you to do, but... Um, in my experience and a lot of the experience of people I know in Young Living at least, that's a successful way to introduce people to the starter kit and get them signed up. Um, so he, you know, he was talking about repetition is what develops behavior into our nature. So at first we're scared of something. There's that fear of, you know, should I do this? Should I not? Um, okay, I guess I'll go ahead and try it. You kind of push past it. And then hopefully you get a reward from doing that. You see a great result. Um, and after that reward um, comes the love of that, and you decide to do it more and more. So the more you embrace that habit, that rep repetitious behavior, um, it becomes ingrained into what you're doing. And then it becomes a habit for you, and it's like, it's like you were never afraid of it at all. So that's, I thought that was just a great point about how sometimes we have to take that initial step, even if we're scared of doing something new for our business, and we have to try it to see if it'll work for us. And maybe it won't. Maybe it will, though. And you never know unless you go ahead and try something new. Um, he also said the consequences you're getting are a result of what you're doing. So if you're in your business right now and you're feeling kind of stagnant, and honestly, I have been feeling this myself, um, we're sitting at gold right now, but we're certainly not um, satisfied with that. We want to hit platinum, and I would love to hit it this year, but... I have to take a hard look at, okay, what am I actually doing? And am I really, um, well, something's making noise over here. <laughs> um, am I really working towards that goal? And at this point, I've been kind of slacking on some stuff. And you have to take a look at what you're doing. And if you're not satisfied with your growth or your rank or your paycheck right now, um, decide if you're actually, if, if you're doing any of those activities that will move the needle. Um, in the direction you want it to go. So if, you, if you're not getting the right results that you want now, then you must not be doing the right actions to get those results. Um, so he was talking about building your systems, and that's kind of what I wanted to focus on because I thought there were some great tips. And I won't take up too much time on this video tonight, but uh, um, people who are, you are enrolling into the program, into Young Living, um, people who are just getting started either with the products or the business, um, they need something to do and they need someone to show them the next steps. So especially if you have somebody interested um, in the business aspect of Young Living, you know, uh, I'm guilty of this. A lot of us are guilty of this. You get them signed up. You did so much work um, talking to them and sharing with them and getting them excited about Young Living's products and the business opportunity of it. You spend so much work um, that once they actually get enrolled, you kind of are like, whew, okay, I can relax now. And actually, that should not be our mindset. That should be like, okay, now I have a lot of work to do uh, because now I have to teach this person. Not only do they need to learn so much about the products that they're going to be using, all the stuff that's coming in their kit, but... Um, especially if they uh, expressed an interest in the business, we have to show them, okay, this is step one. So step one, you know, you get your kit, you, you try your oils, you use your diffuser every day, you, you use some of the vitality oils in your water and your cooking and your food, and you get an experience. You get stories that you can share with people when you're going to talk to them, their own friends, about Young Living. Um, and how do they do that? So we have to break down the steps uh, for them, you know, this is step one, uh, this is step two, and um, that's part of the something that James and I have struggled with because we came into this business a different way than a lot of people, and I can tell that story a different time, but um, we all have to make our own system and make a system that will help us succeed with what we're trying to do. 
So uh, some of the rules that he said for setting up our systems, number one is duplication. And we've heard this a bajillion times. I'm sure you guys are uh, as sick of the word as I am. But uh, we need to be doing things and showing people how easy it is to introduce other people to Young Living. So if, um, if uh, we need to show them stuff that'll get them faster results. And so, uh, hey Judy, <laughs> some of the things that um, can feel intimidating, especially if you're hosting or you're teaching um, home parties, is people, ha people have this idea in their head that like, okay, well, if I have to do what you know Rebecca's doing and stand up in front of 10 people and teach a home party, I'll never be able to do that. And it just isn't something that they can see themselves doing at the time. So we need to um, break it down more than that. We need to talk about things that are um, easily achievable. So uh, duplication though, you know, what can we do uh, that's easy enough for brand new people to do right away um, that will just increase their results fast, um, uh, quicker than they were even expecting? And we want that we want to get our new people to do to do more something than nothing. So um, because the common thing is to get in and they get their kit, and if you especially like I mentioned, if you uh, felt like you can relax now that they're in the company and you can kind of take a back seat and, and um, step away. That's exactly the point when they need your support. They need you following up with them and saying, hey, did you open your kit yet? What have you tried? I would love to give you some of my favorite recipes or diffuser blends. And we need to step into that role more and follow up with them, especially in that first month, especially in the first three months of them getting in because we need to know that they're satisfied with their purchase, they're happy with the products. If they have any questions, we need to be chasing them down you know, to a certain point to, to open that doorway for them um, so that they don't feel like we were just going for a quick sale and now we're done and who cares, whatever, we made some money off of them. That is not our motivation and it should never be our motivation. It's about helping them and finding what's right for them. So anyway, duplication, showing them Hey, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll, what I do is I just uh, use the products and I show, um, I share stories with my friends and family and I talk to them about how, how the oils could fit into their lives. And boom, if you instruct them on how to do that in a comfortable way for them, whatever that looks like, then you have just duplicated your efforts because um, they can now go out there and share their own stories with people too. Um, number two rules for systems was um, something that's easy to replicate. So kind of on the same thing, you don't want to be a specialist. You don't want anybody to feel like they have to have read so many books or taught so many classes or have certificates in um, the arbitrary things that don't actually matter for um, the, the grunt work of network marketing. Um, so this, you know we're not doing this for us. We're helping them, and so we want to we want to make things that are easy for them to replicate. Um, so if that's just you know sending little samples to their friends, done. <laughs> A cheap and easy way to get oils in the hands of somebody new. Um, so number three rule is uh, make it believable and approachable. So they must believe that they can do it. This goes back to you know. If they're not the type of person that can uh, be comfortable standing in front of a huge group of people, show them how to do a one-on-one -on -one presentation. Um, talk to them about how they can do a, a 15 or 30 minute meeting with somebody over coffee. Um, you know, stuff like that, or invite people to their houses. It doesn't have to be what you are doing necessarily, but we need to be able to teach them um, how to have that process in a way that works for them. And uh, so they have to believe that they can do it. And we also need to be um, promoting that it, uh, it, the, the goal is approachable, achievable. And, um, you know, we can't just go out there and say, hey, would you like to make a million dollars in network marketing? Because um, for one, if you're not making a million dollars yourself, that's not really that authentic. It's going to come across as phony and sleazy. Um, but how can we help somebody make that first $50 or the first $100 or the first $500 because that is attainable. If you can show somebody how they can um, earn their first $50 paycheck just by enrolling one person that they know, um, if you get them to that point and you show them how easy it is, that's exciting for them. And they thought, wow, okay, I just earned $50. Then you say, okay, let's earn your first $500. And you go over with them, okay, have that realization of what is that $500 going to pay for in your current life? 
That could be a car payment for somebody. That could be a student loan for somebody. That could be even like three months worth of groceries for a family. So what is that uh, you know, $500 paycheck gonna lead them to? And set some goals around how can they make that $500 every month um, and put those systems in place for how to get them there. Um, you know, small steps, doing things that work, um, and if it's approachable, they'll, they'll create an action around it and then they'll have a reward that comes from that action um, and that will help them re realize the potential of the business. Um, the fourth step here was actionable and, and accountable. So we need to um, help them out with the steps to take, the things that they should do, the action items, the daily do to-do um, to -do lists. And what's funny is they mentioned, you know, a lot of people get into network marketing because they're trying to get out of the nine to five. They don't want a boss telling them what to do anymore. Um, and they would love to, you know, do their own thing and be their own boss. But the, a lot of the problem is a lot of people get into this as a side job, unless you're a stay at home mom and you're already working out of the house. A lot of people come out of the corporate world and do this as a side business. And so they're used to that structure. And so, it, you know, there's really no use fighting it. We should actually just say, okay, um, if you're looking for something to do, these are the steps that I know will work. These are the income producing activities that work for network marketing, hosting classes get, and getting people enrolled um, and conv you know, talking to people about getting on essential rewards and then teaching all of your new members how to do those first two steps. Those are income producing activities. And if you can give them those steps to take and they find the, um, the benefits from that, they're going to they're gonna be successful. That's going to set up a great system for them. Um, and also, you can help, uh, help them to be accountable. So not that we're people's bosses. I certainly don't view, um, you know, James and I don't view ourselves as your guys' bosses. Um, we're here for leadership and support, but I'm not, I'm not necessarily going to be checking up on you and say, what did you do today, Judy? Uh, you better give me your report at the end of the day of all the activities that you uh, did on this Saturday. Um, you know, that's not what it's about, but if, you, if you're the type of person where you need to tell somebody about your goals and you need to be held accountable for that, um, that's kind of up to you guys to do, to reach out to us and say, hey, I would love to get on a schedule. Um, these are my goals for the month and I would love if you checked in with me once a week or twice a week or once a month and just said, hey, how am I doing? Because that's going to help push me to get my action items done. So if you're one of those people, you know, uh, give a shout out to us and we would love to set that structure up with you. Um, the next step here was um, self-training. So we don't want to be... Um, we don't want to be giving our new members a crutch either. And especially as you grow your organization and you try to build up leaders like we guys, we're, we're hoping to do with you guys, we don't want to create a system where you always need us. Um, as nice as that is to be needed, we want you guys to be out there doing your own thing, whatever's, whatever system is working for you, um, helping you create those experiences and growing your own organizations um, so that you can solve shipping issues for your downline. You can call the leadership line when you get to silver and help your, your members uh, fix problems with shipping or ER um, or returns and stuff. And you won't always have to reach out to us for those things. Uh, we are happy, of course, to do all of those things. But what, what it comes down to is, are you, uh, are you the type of person that's going to be that leader where you're going to take the reins and say, I can do this. And if I don't know the answer, I'll reach out or I'll find out and get that going with your own uh, with your own organization. And I feel like that's how I've always been as a person. You know, I'm not I'm not somebody to kind of pull the crowd and ask for answers on something that I'm I'm thinking about. I'm just going to get on Google or I'm going to find a YouTube how to. And I'm I'm out there saying I'm going to find this out for myself because I take a satisfaction from that as well. And we hope to ri uh, raise up more leaders like you guys who are out there just saying. I don't exactly know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to find out for you. I'm going to follow up for you, and you're going to be somebody's resource. And a lot of people just need that. They need a resource um, for questions. So um, training yourselves, tra helping train your own organization so that we don't have to manage everybody under us. And the same for you guys. As you grow into higher leadership positions, you won't have the time to train and keep uh, holding the hands of every single person on your organization. Um, so you need those leaders in place to do that and create those relationships. Um, the last one here was just um, make it, um, the last rule was make, uh, make it goal oriented. So uh, use your compensation plan to set goals and milestones. And so 
James and I, uh, we're just brainstorming the whole drive back. It was like two and a half hour drive back from Chicago. We are, our minds are just uh, excited again. And, um, we had our wheels turning about what we can do. Oh, how can we do incentives and how can we help uh, more of you guys set some goals this year? So I'm going to follow up after I kind of hash out more of my ideas on that and uh, follow up with um, everybody in the group and say, okay, what goals are we setting? Let's make an action plan. Let's get something going this year. Cause I think it's really exciting. Um, last year for us was kind of like a, an even keel year. I want to be, I want to be a platinum this year. I want to go to convention as a platinum and whether or not I get to walk as a platinum, I don't care. But, um, you know, at this point we got five months to make it happen. <laughs> so we got some thinking to do. We got some brainstorming. Um, but I just thought, uh, today's talk was just great. It was refreshing. And that's why going to convention is always refreshing for me too, because sometimes we get so stuck in our own heads, about how we should approach the business and maybe this isn't working and we get um, a little discouraged because our efforts aren't paying off you know, immediately or even within the same month or same quarter or the same year. Um, but we're always planting those seeds with people and we just have to uh, let, a, let it come to fruition sometimes. Um, so convention is always really good because wherever I'm at in my head at that point, I go to convention, I get excited, I see the other people who are succeeding in Young Living, um, you hear from other industry leaders, and it just helps you refresh, take a step back and realize, okay, I was spending so much time doing this because I thought that was going to be important, but that's actually not doing anything. I need to be over here um, doing this activity to move the needle. Um, and they also had some, uh, he also just mentioned, you know, always add recognition. So what we've been trying to do in this group too is, you know, team acknowledgements of um, not only rank advancements, but Something that I do that maybe some of you have noticed and um, I, I wanted to talk about tonight is um, I have an app on my phone called Oily Tools and this app can show you like a, a paycheck projection. Um, it can show you like new members who join, product uh, statuses, in or, in, it, in or out of stock um, product statuses. Um, it's a paid application. You pay like six bucks a month, six or seven bucks a month, I think. Um, but it gives me some notifications. And so at the end of the month, I sit down and I write, handwrite letters um, to people on my team for a couple different things. One of those is for anybody who enrolls their first member. So they, they're a brand new enroller. They've gotten their very first um, member into Young Living. And I don't know about you guys, but when that happened for us, I was mega excited. Like our very first enrollment, I was like, holy moly, we did it. That feels really good. So at the end of the month, whoever enrolls their very first member, I get a notification on my oily tools. And so I write them a letter and I have scripts that I've just written and I just write them on a little card, like a four by, like a three by five card. And I say, you know, congrats on your new enrollment. How exciting you're sharing the love of Young Living with your friends and family. That's going to help out. Uh, you know, not only your family's health and wellness, but theirs and, you know, congrats. And here's my business card. I'd love to chat more. And by the way, you know, I, I'd love to connect with you on Facebook and just making those connections with people and just congratulating them on something that they did. Um, so I send to new enrollees, um, enrollers. I also send to anybody who increases in rank and depending on what rank it is, I might send a little something extra, a little book or um, uh, like a roll-on. We're doing roll-ons for anybody who hits Senior Star, either a Deep Relief or a Breathe Again. So if that's you and Senior Star is on your horizon, you'll get a gift from us. Um, but I just say, hey, you know, it's not even easy to hit Star. It's not easy to hit Senior Star. It's not easy to hit anything beyond that. So I want to reach out and say, hey, awesome job. And if you're not in my business leaders group yet, I would love to have you be a part of my exclusive private group on how to do this as a business. And I just reach out and say, you know, awesome job. Love to connect more. Here's my contact information. Um, and then I also send out to, who else do I send to? Um, there's one more set of people, but I can't remember at the moment. Um, uh, but I, I write out three different letter scripts, um, a month and I might be sending, five cards every month, I might be sending 30 cards. I think when I first started this was um, November of last year, and that was a pretty big enrollment month. So my hand was legit tired. <laughs> uh, and I do them all at the end of the month because I like to take a whole day and do them at a big shebang and mail them all out so everybody kind of gets it at the same time. Um, but to me, that has been such a great... Um, 
such a great, what do I want to say, like task for me to sit down and take that time to say, okay, I'm spending time making some kind of connection. And that's what uh, Marcella talked about today. She's, um, she was saying, you know, uh, find a way every day to make a connection with somebody on your team. And hopefully it's not just one person. Um, hopefully it's more, hopefully you can just say, uh, I'm going to take five minutes to send, you know, three people a message, um, or shoot them a text or something and just check on them. Oh, that's great. Judy says she's sending letters to everybody. That's awesome. Judy. Sweet. Um, so that's just one of the ways that I've been trying to intentionally make connections with more of our downline, create that team culture, create the open doors that people maybe didn't even know were there. Um, some people get left high and dry and we want to be that support system for them. So, um, my goal is to start teaching people as one of the systems, um, for them to write letters to people in their downline. And it doesn't have to be a big deal. You could pick one person a month. Um, doesn't even have to be a letter. You can create some kind of system. I like the idea of a handwritten letter because it means you took the time to pick a card. You had to write it out in your whatever scribbly handwriting like I have. It doesn't matter. Uh, you put it in an envelope, you put a stamp on it, and you put it in the mailbox. Like that took some extra effort instead of copy pasting a letter, um, you know, script on an email that hopefully they'll read. Um, so anyway, I want that to be one of our systems too, is teaching people, um, you know, write those letters, make those um, more of the in-person connections as you can. And just imagine for now, like we have people that are even 10 and 11 uh, levels down from us as gold. And so say that somebody signed up on level 10. So there's going to be nine people between me and them. And say this person just signed up and I send them a, you know, welcome new member letter. And I just say, hey, glad to have you on the team. I'm in your upline support system. Um, here's my contact information. You have a great sponsor in so-and-so. Um, Doug's going to be really great for you. And I'm also here too as your, uh, as your support system. That's the beauty of network marketing. So I'd love to chat more. Imagine if that new person got nine letters like that from their upline that just flood their inbox, um, flood their mailbox, <laughs> and that say, hey, here, welcome to the team. I'm here for you. So excited that you got started in Young Living. I can't even imagine how that would feel. Um, it might be a little intimidating, but a certain uh, if that was me when I first got started, I'd be like, wow, people are really paying attention. They are really excited that I'm here, and that's what we want to promote to people. We are excited that they're on our team. We're excited they're taking some different um, changes in their health and wellness. They chose us. They chose Young Living as the company to do that with, and we want to support them however we can. So anyway, I'll, I can talk more about that some other time. But I, I like the letter idea, and I heard that from somebody else. That wasn't from me, so I'm, I'm starting to pass that on now too. Um, but the last thing I wanted to hit on tonight before I go... Um, is I want to get some feedback from you guys. Whoever's watching this, whoever watches this later, make a comment because this is part of what we learned today and um, for James and I to figure out how we can create a system to help you guys thrive. I'm going to ask you a question and I want you to answer in the comment section your honest answer, the first thing that comes to your head. And so the, the question is, if you had all the money in the world, you didn't have to worry about your finances. All your needs were taken care of. Uh, maybe you already lived in the, your dream house. You had your dream car. You lived in a dream location. Uh, if you had all the money in the world and your needs, everything was taken care of, what would you do with your time? Where would you be? What would you be doing? Who would you be with? So if you had all the money in the world, did not have to worry about finances at all, what would you be doing uh, with your time? So make that, uh, um, make that statement in the comments for us. I want to hear from everybody um, if you're seeing this. And so our, we're going to kind of do this to analyze you a little bit. And so this will actually help us understand how we can help each of you individually um, create a system of success and create a th thriving environment for you on our team on, on, in our organization as well as we grow this. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Whoever got on tonight, it's pretty late. I'm super hungry and then I'm going to crash and go to bed because I'm very tired, but um, it was nice to see all your faces and your thumbs up. And yeah, answer the question, what would you be doing? You just have a, a bunch of money. What are you going to do with your time?
Who are you going to be with? Where are you going to be? Love to hear it. Love to hear the feedback, and then we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. See you all later.